Hello everyone, this is Esther Camacho with the McAllen Public Library. Welcome to another episode of Frontier Roots. Let's explore the life of one of Hidalgo County's colorful pioneers, the Sheriff John Klausner. John Klausner was born on March 24, 1853 in New Glarus, Wisconsin, to Swedish parents, John Klausner and Elizabeth Bloomer. His mother died when he was young. His father did remarry and eventually made one final move to Texas. So the family arrived in Texas around 1870. John Klausner went out on his own and started working in railroad construction and with streetcar companies while he was in Galveston, Texas. In Galveston, on the 19th of August, 1876, he marries Ida Louise Cook. They have two children. They have a four-year-old daughter, Josephine, who dies in Mier Tamaulipas in November of 1883. It was during that time that Klausner worked for a railroad company in Mexico from 1876 to 1882. In 1883, he moved to Rio Grande City and worked delivering mail from Rio Grande City to Brownsville. The traveling back and forth was long and hard. He decided to move and settle his family in Hildago, Texas. This is the John Klausner home in Hildago, Texas. Hildago County Sheriff James Doherty asked John Klausner to accept the position as deputy sheriff. He held that position from 1885 to 1890. In this interesting article in 1887, John Klausner and Erastico and Forte are out looking for a fugitive named Juan Zamora. They do capture him, but unfortunately, Zamora escapes, but he shoots in Forte in the right shoulder and left leg, and John Klausner is shot in the right leg. But they both recover. On the 28th of November, 1888, he marries Anne Sheridan Doherty. They had three children. She dies on the 13th of February, 1903 in Brownsville, Texas. In 1890, he becomes sheriff of Hildago County. Over a year later, on the June 1st, 1904, he marries Alice Doherty. She is the sister of his second wife, but they had no children. As he prospered, he began to purchase large tracts of land. In 1898, he believed that he could grow crops once he developed a water canal system to his San Juan plantation from the Rio Grande River, which was successful. Besides growing sugar cane, he also grew alfalfa, corn, cotton, sweet potato, and other vegetables. What you see here is the sugar mill on the San Juan plantation. He also became a land developer. John Klausner, William Briggs, Argyle McAllen, Putarco de la Viña, and Dennis Chapin developed the town of Chapin and made it the county seat in 1908. He also brought a railroad line to Chapin. The name Chapin was short-lived. The town was renamed Edinburgh. John Klausner did move to the newly developed town. In this article in the San Antonio Express in 1911 is a full page of the life of John Klausner. Take a note of the title. Klausner, Nemesis of the Evildoer. A name to conjure within mighty Rio Grande Valley. In the Brownsville Herald on the 2nd of April, 1912, this records John Klausner's 59th birthday party. 
Some of his guests were Mr. and Mrs. Lipscomb, Dr. and Mrs. William Doherty, and the judge and Mrs. J. Edwards. In 1912, John Klosner resigns as sheriff. From 1912 to 1918, he becomes a county treasurer. Unfortunately, he was forced to resign due to an alleged misappropriation of $150,000. In 1923, after selling his San Juan plantation and other holdings, John Klausner moves his family to Brownsville, Texas to retire. In 1929, there is a notice in the Brownsville Herald that stated that John Klosner had a paralytic stroke. His family did come down to be with him, but he did recover. John Klosner dies on the 3rd of June, 1932 in Brownsville, Texas of a heart attack. He is buried in the city cemetery. His wife, Alice, follows him in 1947. This is Esther Camacho, and thank you for watching Frontier Roots, the life and story of Sheriff John Klausner. Don't forget to leave a comment below and to like us on Facebook at MPL Adults and subscribe to our YouTube channel at McAllen Public Library. So see you next time on another episode of Frontier Roots.